Okay, hello and welcome to Branch Plays Silent Hill. This game originally came out in 1999. I'm going to be playing it on normal mode, and I'll be right back once we get into gameplay. Okay, so it seems it seems that it starts directly after the opening, and I think that's a cool little thing to do. Cheryl, where are you? Strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Cheryl. Okay, so, first things first, let's see what my controls do. Okay. So, if I hold square, I can run, and if I back... Okay, I can back dash with that. Uh, okay, select opens my inventory, start pauses, triangle opens the map. Okay, off we go. Footsteps? Okay, so I guess I just have to follow her through the fog for now. So, uh, I guess let's just do that. Okay, so, to be totally honest, I have played a tiny amount of this game before. I've played maybe the next, I don't know, five, ten minutes. But beyond that, I'm pretty much playing this about as blind as you can be. Beware of dog. Fair enough. So I know like the next five, ten minutes that I'm completely blind from there. Jesus, what is that? Uh, my guess is is that it was the dog that I was supposed to beware of. However, I will say, just the way the, ca the camera just sweeps and moves throughout here, that is super cool and super fluid. That looks really cool. Well, I, I really like that a lot. That's strange. It's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. Okay. Probably helps if I don't run straight into a wall. A broken wheelchair? What's this doing here? Oh, not a broken wheelchair with one ominously spinning wheel. What's this? Well, Harry, that's very clearly a gurney with what appears to be a dead body on it. I will say, I do like how the music just gradually builds as you're coming through this little section. That's cool. this? What's going on here? And now we're being attacked. So... Okay, I don't know how I get out of attacks in this game. I don't know if I have to mash like in Resident Evil, or if it just kind of does it itself or what. But I'm sure I will find out, and this is a blocked off path. Which isn't great for me, but hey... Well, I guess we died. Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm alright, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? 
Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, Something bizarre's going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. Phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Okay, so we have a gun now at least, so let's quickly equip that. Okay, so what do we have in here? We have a health drink, we have a flashlight, and a map. There's a residential area map. I don't like the fact that the camera just turned and showed me an enemy flying by there. Or at least I assume it was an enemy. Also, I love how this poster just says, study, damn it. <laughs> That's a fun little, little... I don't know why, I just find that kind of funny. Okay, so let's grab this other health drink and this knife. I don't know if I'll get any use out of the knife, but hey, good to have it, I suppose. A radio. Seems broken. I can't hear anything. Okay, so I guess we have to leave. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Okay, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get a little bit of distance and just try to shoot this thing. Uh. Three, four. Okay, I think I killed it. I. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? Okay, I look. Now that I see it, like, up close, that looks like a weird, deformed kind of duck thing. Like, that looks like a duck if it was kind of like a weird, you know, awful Silent Hill monstrosity. But hey, let's quickly grab this radio. There we go. So now we have the radio. And I believe the kind of, uh, kind of static, I think that basically tells you, hey, there's an enemy nearby. So let's head outside. Where, where could Cheryl have gone? 
I guess I'll check that alley again. Okay, so we have to go into that alley off Finney Street. I do appreciate the game just kind of mocking the map for me to be like, hey, go over here. Because if I was left to my own devices, I would never get anywhere. Like, the fact that the game was se seems like it'll be willing to kind of just point me out where I need to go on a map is very comforting. Because otherwise, I would just be fumbling around in the fog forever. Right, so did I go off at the wrong entrance? I am currently running up Bachman Road. Uh, you know what? Do I, if I if I go too far north, do I get to? Well, if I run too far north, will it just put me out on Bradbury Street or a what? Oh, that's one of those things. That appears to be a tunnel that I can't go into, and I just got kicked in the head by one of those things. Okay, I guess I will just run on over and uh, immediately go check out that alleyway. 10 out of 10, I'm off to a great start having gone the wrong way immediately. That sound... Okay, what? It stopped. It stopped. I thought that thing was actually gaining on me for a second. Like, if that thing was gaining on me, that could have been a bit of a concern. Okay, so... Am I going... Okay, I am going the right way now, and I just need to make a left here. Also... I'm, like, I'm, I'm no expert in terms of, like, police procedure, but w I feel like Sybil maybe, I don't know, I feel like Sybil just giving Harry a gun is maybe not standard procedure. I mean, obviously this is exceptional circumstances, but still. Okay, so I guess we just come back through here. Yeah, and I... I knew that there was a left turn. I remembered there was a turn here, and I forgot the in I forgot the little bit before it. Turn out of ten, I'm doing very well, and I will happily take some more handgun bullets because those look like handgun bullets. Indeed, they are fantastic. To school. Isn't the Cheryl sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. Okay, so, now we have our next objective. We have to make our way to Midwich Elementary School. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so what else do we have here? We have... A sketchbook cover. This picture. It's me. The first picture Cheryl drew in the sketchbook I gave her on her fifth birthday. Okay, and a pipe by the looks of things. There's a steel pipe, but it looks pretty rusty. While I'm here, I might as well just quickly reload the handgun. Uh, steel pipe. Three, uh, three inch long steel pipe. No, three foot long. Anyway, uh, long range, but of limited use. So I feel like I should probably keep a hold of that for a later time. You know, just in case I need it at a later time, I don't want to kind of just break it now by using it on some random enemy. To be totally honest, I don't know how many enemies I'm going to have to deal with. I don't know uh, I don't- Oh, that narrowly dodged that. I forgot- uh, Despite coming through here less than two minutes ago, I forgot that there was going to be a dog there as soon as I came out there. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to try to conserve my ammo as best I can. Mostly just because, to be totally- Mostly just because I have no real idea what I'm doing. And I'd rather have a whole lot of ammo spare for a potential boss fight or something later. As opposed to, you know, just randomly run- As opposed to running out of bullets before or getting into a big fight later. Because I have very little idea as to what I'm doing here. Okay, that is a dead end for sure, so I can't go this way. So let's keep going down this street, I suppose. And eventually I will find my way. Also, I feel like Sybil couldn't have raised more kind of like... Uh, I don't think Sybil could have raised more flags about what's going to happen and with her dialogue if she tried. Like her dialogue there, uh, basically... Like her dialogue basically being like, Do you have a gun? I'm going to give you a gun. Don't shoot if you don't know who you're shooting at. Like, I'm gonna end up shooting her by accident, aren't I? 
Doghouse, Levin Street. Okay, so I guess I have to look on Levin Street for a doghouse. But yeah, I feel like Sybil absolutely kind of just, uh... It, like, I don't know. Obviously, I've never played this, so my so my guess is... This is basically just an educated guess. Oh. 10 out of 10, Harry, on for reactions there. A house key was hidden in the doghouse. Do you want to take it? Yes. Nothing unusual. Also, uh, that's the that's the doghouse from the meme where they ha where the dogs jump and it's like a doghouse. I don't see the dog though. And we find the first aid kit. If I remember, I'll put that meme image up on screen because uh, it's kind of a classic. Okay, so I will also grab some more handgun bullets. Is there anything around here? No. Can I see anything out the window? No. Doesn't look like it. That. Nothing special. Okay, that pot did look a little bit suspicious, though. And I will take even more handgun bullets. Although, to be totally honest, I'm a little bit concerned just at the a sheer number that it's giving me. But hey, I'm not going to complain about having more ammo available. Keys for the Eclipse. Something's written on the map hanging on the wall. So now we've copied that to the map. So I assume I now need to go to the three things that are marked... And, the, and assumably those will be the free keys for, uh, for uh, assumably those will be the free keys for the free locks on that door. So let's uh, make our way back along Levin Street. Wait, am I going the right way for this? Uh, okay, I'm yeah, yeah, okay. So I'm going to get onto Matheson Street and then just r make a long, long run through the fog. I will say that I know that the fog. Like, the fog of Silent Hill is such- is so interesting in the fact that, like, I know that it's there to kind of mask, draw, and kind of load distances, because, obviously, having a open world of this size, as that's all, like, cohesive and doesn't require, like, actual full-on loading screens, for 1999 is genuinely really impressive. But the fact that the fog is there and almost kind of takes on a life of its own. Like, the fog of Silent Hill is a character in Silent Hill. And I think that's super interesting. The fact that what is technically a gameplay limitation is actually one of, if not the most iconic parts of the game. Okay, so where am I now? I am on Elroy, Elroy Street? And it looks like I'm near where one of these keys should be. Okay, that's another enemy, but... Okay, I see one. A key of Scarecrow. Okay, and another health drink. I will take another healing item, and I, don't, and I just got kicked in the head. How's my health looking? Okay, it's in orange. I imagine I'm probably still okay. Although, my real question is... Uh, like in Resident Evil, when I'm on low health, will I see a, like, a visual change to Harry's kind of, uh, walk speeds to his, uh, like, to his walk speeds, to his animations? I kind of want to know about that. Either way, I'm just going to keep on this path, and eventually I should reach the end. And, uh, so where am I now? I am on... Okay, so I need to make a right here. That's another enemy. Once again, I'm just going to try to run past every enemy I can and just kind of, <laughs> I guess, kind of squirrel tactics of just run on and kind of zigzag around. Oh, no. I'm going to get hit here. Absolutely getting hit here. So we got the key of lion. And, and some more bullets. And how's my health looking? I am on red, so I'll heal. I have four of those, so that should be fine. Okay, so... Uh, hang on, wait. I want to get the third key before I confirm my suspicion on this. But I think I get what the, these keys represent. I think. So the question now is, where do I go? Where's this last key? Uh, okay, if I cross the street... If I cross the street and then at the next kind of junction, I make a left. left. So I should be able to turn in here. 
and uh, no, where is it? Because I am probably most of the way down here now, and I haven't seen anywhere where I could like turn in no, or find something. Is, is it here? No, that's just that's just those are just more bins. Uh, okay, so I guess I'll check the other side of the street. And 10 out of 10, I'd like to thank that one enemy for not hitting me there. Uh, okay, so assumably, if I didn't see it on that side of the street, it must be on this side. No. Okay, this definitely goes in, so can I go in here? I can! This area is apparently off limits, though. Is there anything over here? Because I'm basically just going to be running from point A to point B, as far as I can tell. Can I go in here? No. That is a severed dog's head on a basketball hoop. Were, were the enemies trying to play... Like, were the monsters of Silent Hill trying to play a basketball with that dog's head? I hope they weren't. Okay, so we got the key of the woodsman. So, I think that kind of tracks. Because my thought was, since I got the scarecrow and I got the lion, my thought was, are they meant to be the keys based on the... Uh, based on the characters that Dorothy meets in The Wizard of Oz, because she meets the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion. But I I don't actually know, though, if the Tin Man is a woodsman or what. Uh, so I'll be totally honest, my knowledge of The Wizard of Oz is maybe a little bit lacking. I also haven't seen the, you know, 1930... The, the, uh, the, mo the classic movie was from 1939, right? I know it's super old. Well, I know it's coming up on a century, but I don't know exactly when it was. I want to say it was 1939. And, but yeah, so in that, it's the a Scarecrow, the Cowardly Lion, and the Tin Man. And that, I want narrowly miss me. Am I on Levin Street yet? I am. So I want to run on this side, because I know that this the house I was looking for was on this side. So we should be getting there pretty soon. I think. Wait. Hang on. I'm approaching, I'm approaching this from the other side. Maybe it is on the other side of the street. It probably is on the other side of the street, because I am approaching this from the other side. 10 out of 10, hadn't thought about that uh, properly. So uh, that's me potentially wasting some time. Fortunately for me, this isn't a speed run or anything. I mean, if it was, I'd probably be doing a horrible, horrible job at it because, you know, I don't know really what I'm doing. Okay, so can I go into this door yet? Like, what's in this room? Because evidently the door is locked and I can't go through. Wait, was that a note on there? Can I read that? Uh, apparently not. It appears to have been a saucer, and I was, uh, just seeing things, I guess. Okay, so we use the key of the lion, we use the key of the woodman, and then we use the key of the scarecrow. Yeah, so going bottom to top is the order that Dorothy meets the characters in The Wizard of Oz. So I think that must be it. What? It's getting dark again? Okay, what's going on? Okay, so a flashlight now comes in handy. Okay, so circle turns the flashlight on and off. That's good to know. Hopefully I won't need to turn it off at any point, but hey, who knows? I swear if this game has a stealth section, I'm gonna be so bad at it. But hey, I'm just bad at stealth sections in every game. But hey, now that we are out here, where am I? So I need to uh, make a left. So I need to turn left, run down, make a right, go down, make a left. Okay. And pretty much, I just want to make my way to Midwich. I don't know if there's... I, I assume that somewhere around here there's probably some uh, kind of hidden items and stuff. But I honestly have no idea. And I... I think I may have made a wrong turn. I think I need to go left. Left. Oh, wait, this should be Midwich Street, right? This is Midwich Street. Okay, this is just a straight shot from here. 
So I'm just going to get on this sidewalk, this path, whatever you want to call it, and just make a run on all the way down here. Hopefully not encounter, well, hopefully not get hit by any of the enemies. If nothing else, I will say that, that I do appreciate kind of how fast Harry seems to run. Like he is kind of moving. Like he he actually runs pretty fast. I mean, I guess it's because you know this is a rather large game world for 1999, and and I think we should be pretty close now. Like, I'm seeing a whole lot of like little signs. There's a there's a school bus, so I must be nearly there. I have gone past it because <laughs> that is a dead end, and there doesn't appear to be any hidden items there. So I, you know what? Let's quickly check over this. Wait. It. Is, that, is this going to be another dead end? It probably is. Because I imagine Bradbury Street and the other ones must have also probably been dead ends. So there's South Midwich Street. Uh, there's a tree. Uh, okay, this must. This is the entrance. Fantastic. Right. Now you're going to play a fun little game of. Uh, after playing all those hours of Dead by Daylight, can I navigate Midwich? Because I struggle to do so in DBD, will I manage it in Silent Hill itself? There's a school map. Well, that answers that question, because I'll have a map to consult. Okay, so that's like where the exit gate is. So this is kind of the main bit. So this will take me out into the open and courtyard bit. So this should be the nurse's office. Which I believe should probably have a save point, right? It does indeed have a save point. Is there anything else in this room? Medical supplies, I'll take those. So we'll take a health drink and a first aid kit, and I will save and end off today's episode here. Someday, someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully, they'll find my notes useful. Okay, so let's make a new save, because, well, obviously, I don't have one. And, and I'm going to end off today's episode here at. Yeah, as always, feel free to leave a comment or click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined, and I will hopefully see you all next time for more Silent Hill. Okay, thanks for watching. Later.